Epona, Celtic and Gaul goddess and protector of horses. Her statues are often found in stables. Her name means great or divine mare. Her connection to horses was not limited to a physical relationship with them. Rather, Epona was believed to have an intimate spiritual tie to the animals. The horse is a symbol of leadership, trust, and transportation. Hi, I'm Amy, and welcome to my channel where we talk about all things pagan. Horses have long been used as work animals. They have a unique relationship with people. We admire them. They symbolize freedom, yet are also one of the foundations of agriculture and the growth of the human race. Epona was a goddess of the people. Even the poor farmer with a lonely donkey could call out to her for her blessing and protection. Some Celtic traditions linked Epona to agriculture and the harvest, indicating her connection to the cycle of life and death. Not a lot of stories remain about Epona, although she is widely represented in artifacts. Artwork representing her riding or standing with a horse or horses has been found throughout Northern Europe and attests to her importance. Epona's role with horses in Gaul, today's France, led to her connection and worship in Roman mythology. As the Roman Empire spread, the Roman military men became acquainted with Celtic gods and goddesses. Epona's worship was particularly popular among the Roman cavalry. Roman soldiers stationed in Gaul and Britain adopted her as their goddess of choice and spread her worship throughout the regions they occupied. Her statues are often found in the stables for military horses. According to Celtic mythology, Epona is best known as the protector of horses, but as she she is occasionally associated with being the deliverer of souls. This may have been due to Roman influence. Carried by a horse, the symbol of transportation, she evokes the journey the soul takes into the underworld. There are many ways we can worship Epona. Creating an altar is a great way to show your devotion to her. Here is an example of mine. You can include symbols such as horse figurines, images of the goddess, flowers, and candles in her colors of white, brown, and gold. I have pictures of the ponies I had as a young child and, my, and a horse carving my father made me. Rose petals and turquoise symbolize Epona. Apples, corn, and wheat make great offerings, and wine is always appreciated. Her Roman feast day is December 18th. Celts often celebrated her in late summer with the harvest. You can meditate on Epona and her qualities, such as her strength, fertility, and nurturing power. Focus your thoughts on her while meditating. You can always ask for guidance and her blessings. My horse Rocket is a rescue and the best horse ever. We enjoy going for long walks together. There are many good horse charities, and you can donate to one as a way of honoring Epona. I have a couple listed in the description and the website article on Epona. If you follow my writings, you know that I have close relationships with nature and animal goddesses. Arshio, Celtic bear goddess, and Bastet, Egyptian cat goddess, are two that I honor in my personal daily practice as a pagan. Epona is one that I feel I have been drawn to my whole life, but only recently started to put that into a concrete form. Obviously, I love horses, especially my boy Rocket. I hope this information has been helpful to you. Please give this video a thumbs up. Thanks for watching and have a very witchy day.